It sounds like your mom is still quite involved. I read a story somewhere about <laughs> like you were giving birth and your mother was very... Oh, she is involved. <laughs> <laughs> when she's there, she's involved. And then she goes. Um, oh, oh, she was like in my vagina. I mean, it was like you couldn't... A mother couldn't get more inside of a birthing vagina than my mother. And, and she had these like... Uh, reading glasses on that had lights on. Oh, wow. It was out of a comedy. I mean, it was like, Goldie. literally. Oh, she. <laughs> what a privilege, though. Go. Go. I mean, you know, I. Shouting at the baby. Animals. Follow the light. Both, Follow the light. Yeah. Both, of the, both of the kids. But, but the thing is, is that. Having mommy there, as funny as it is, was really, is yeah, really yeah, special. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So really she special. is involved. And do you know the story I'm talking about where, like, you do not win any awards for being a good daughter? The, there are many stories where I don't <laughs> win awards. For, I was not a great daughter. I, I, I am forever in my mum's debt because I was a, such a brat. I feel really bad about it. Tell us the story about when you were on your computer and she wanted your help. Oh, yes. She, yes. OK, so I... Um, <laughs> I was on MSN, uh, obviously, the most the important man. thing at the time. <laughs> Got to the details. And uh, <laughs> we lived out, like, you know, out in the sticks and often snakes would get into the house and, um, you know, it wasn't a big deal, but you just have to, like, chase them around and get it out and it's kind of time-consuming and annoying. And so my mum yelled out and she was like, can you come help me? There's, this snake's really big, like, I can't get it on my own. Can you come help me? And I was like... I'm so busy, Mum. No, I can't. Like, just being a brat, because I was on MSN. And she was like, oh, I just, OK, are you sh please? And I was like, be gone. And, um, <laughs> and then she was, she was gone for, like, 10 minutes. And I was like, oh, she's been gone for ages. And then I, I like, got up from the computer. I could hear, like, this, mm, mm. And I was like, oh, God, what's happening? And I see Mum, she's, like, made it halfway down the stairs. And the snake, she tried to, like, pick this big python up with a uh, with a broom and a stick, but it had wound its way up around her arm and was going around her neck. <laughs> <laughs> but so I'm to I love Australia, but I would oh never be able to live No, I know, I'm painting a bad picture. It's really not bad, but... Um, and it wasn't poisonous. <laughs> it wasn't poisonous steak, but they do... They do, they do <laughs> strangle you. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. and I felt so How bad. And get after it off her? You, you just got to give it something else to climb on. So you get a stick or something, it starts weaving its way around that, and then you can transfer its weight and Good to know. get it off. Yeah, that is... <laughs> <laughs> top, top to the you, just, you grab it behind its head. You grab it behind its jaw. Oh, they jaw. hate that. They hate well, that. <laughs> you just don't want it to bite you. <laughs> <laughs> but and was your mother OK? Yeah, she was fine. <laughs> I, but I, I felt bad and I, I tried not to be such a brat. When Mum asked for help in future, I, I kind of did it. A lesson a learned. A lesson learned. Were you allowed kind of treats at the White House? Could you have junk food and... Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like for, on the weekends, like yeah. the no weekends. Honey, were, but, yeah. yeah, well, no, honey. <laughs> a little. Yeah, I mean, on the weekends. I mean, it was pretty strict during the week, and then more relaxed on the weekends. And could you have people over? Could friends yes. come over and stuff? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, I mean, the place was filled with her friends. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, and, and, you know, it's true that you know the White House does like to prepare all the food, um, and the kids were not always enthusiastic about the food that <laughs> they were being served. So they were always trying to call for pizzas. And <laughs> you can't order a pizza to the White House. I'll just tell you that right now. <laughs> and, and we did. Sometimes there were exceptions. Yeah, sometimes you could go out maybe, and one of the kids could go out maybe and meet the... And pick uh, it up. Yeah, the pizza the driver. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but the first time, you would have thought that, you know, war had been declared. There's a pizza truck outside. <laughs> it says a pizza was ordered. What do we do with it? Yeah, yeah it, it, we had lots of challenges like that. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, it sounds like a crank call. <laughs> <laughs> From the pizza restaurant's point yeah, of view. Exactly. You want some pizzas at the White House? Exactly. Yes, thank you yeah. very much. We're very busy. <laughs> <laughs> the, the last, I think it was the last time we were here, uh, Kelly brought her daughter. I think uh, River, she was young, yeah. Um, <laughs> look at those cheeks, look at her head. Um, the happiest baby I have ever encountered. I mean. Yeah, and now. Miserable. Um, she's a teenager. <laughs> And she's super happy, and then all of a sudden, just like super not. Yeah, it's really fun. But isn't that? <laughs> <laughs> but, but she likes. You didn't mean the word fun, mate. Yeah, yeah. It's like you know, take the wine in a bathroom and cry it out with God. <laughs> then you're like, I don't want to kill her. <laughs> I still love she's, you. She's super great, though. Sometimes she's like this little unicorn. Sometimes she's very magical, very um, infectious in a good way. And but nearly that extinct. Same... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then... it's fictional. It's fictional. Yeah, they never, they never, never do. Thing, no. <laughs>
Is that, am I wrong? Am I wrong? <laughs> no, I don't know. Is it a real bear? <laughs> <laughs> But isn't that the song, Loves Us Off, that she likes? That, that's well, what... she does, but she can't say her Fs yet, so it sounds like her mother's an alcoholic because she says, love so sauced, you know? <laughs> <laughs> we have a very drunken love at our household. Because she just can't say her Fs, so it's kind of fun to hear her sing all the songs. Claire, your daughter, has she seen your stuff? No. Okay. Well, but... I haven't done anything child-friendly. Yeah. Well, that's how I feel. That's a bit that, heavy I... for the first one, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Come and watch Mummy at work. So mommy <laughs> <got> <laughs> But, but she must see your picture on TV and stuff. <laughs> she has discovered that you can have my face as a person on Netflix. Oh, for like your avatar. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's um, amazing. And so I didn't know that she'd done this. And I turned on Netflix, like she'd gone to bed and I turned it on. And there's my face, but she called it nincompoop. Like... <laughs> <laughs> But she spelled it perfectly, and it's just my face. Yeah. And does it come up going, are you still watching this, Nick and Poop? <laughs> this is what you like to watch. I was going to say, what did it recommend you watch? I, I can't go anywhere near it, but I also can't delete it, because I'm quite proud of how she managed to find it and do that. Yeah. In some scenes, you are pregnant. Well, mm, yes. We did some additional photography, and I was... End. Pregnant, yeah, and I, it was kind of yeah. still pregnant. early, so I wasn't really oh, telling okay. anyone. Yeah. And so Tom was confused as to why I wasn't engaging in all the stunts because I was kind of game for it when we did the original shoot. And eventually I went, Because I'm growing a human. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, oh, And he was so cute about it, and then protected me, was helping me downstairs. Like he was almost overboard, you know. Yeah, she's like, Tom, Tom. <laughs> Tom, I'm fine. fine. I can do <laughs> stairs. Oh. Well, uh, you, grew, you, grew, you grew the little human, and little human popped out. We've yes. got a picture of Hazel. Oh. Oh. That, that, as a mother, that must be so nice to have 600 people go. <laughs> it is very nice, yeah. She's because I do that, but yeah. No, she's beautiful. She's she is really cute. Today. She's amazing. so cute. Was it the nurse that was very complimentary? Yeah, when she, she was out? funny. We were in the recovery room afterwards, and we had this amazing nurse who came in, and she looked at Hazel and she goes, Damn, your baby is so cute. <laughs> <laughs> and I went, I went, oh, really? She went, she is gorgeous. And I went, hey, Mabel, I think you say that to all the mothers. And she went, no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> she, said, she said, when I know a baby ugly, I say, you had a baby. <laughs> Growing up, was it a nice thing that your mom was Jennifer Saunders? Yeah. Or was well, it a kind of a, an yeah. embarrassing thing? I mean, I... I, I, I don't mean the actual of... woman. I mean the idea <laughs> of Jennifer Saunders off the telly. Yeah, well, I think I sort of assumed assumed that everyone's mum and dad was on telly. I was like, so what show's your dad on? <laughs> <laughs> but I did come home one day and ask her if she was Jennifer Saunders. Yeah. Because I didn't understand what... She didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. Someone at school had said I yeah. was. Yeah, oh, your mum's Jennifer Saunders. I was like, all right. <laughs> Webs. <Yeah. laughs> and, and, but, of course, not just mum, dad, Ed Edmondson. Yes. Yes. Yep. So did they give you advice going into comedy and things? Um, I mean, yeah, I'm sure Don't you did. Don't be shit, I think it's probably... <laughs> <laughs> I remember one really good bit of advice my dad gave me when um, a boy at my school had got told off for doing a fart in class. Like, a really loud one. Um, and so I came home and I told my dad, and he was like, BT. And he got really serious, he was like, BT. <sighs> Don't you ever let anyone tell you that farting isn't funny. <laughs> <laughs> Careers have been made yeah. up. It built this yeah. house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your mom, she sounds formidable. Uh, so <laughs> I love this story. So you you graduate from dance school, you go home to Malaysia, mm -hmm. and what has your mother done? Uh, so as I got home for the holidays <laughs> and I was planning to go back to England, then she suddenly looped into this whole thing about, oh, you know, you should go on stage more and you should do this because now you're 21 and when you're not 21 anymore, there are things you can do. And I'm thinking, what on earth is she on about? And the next thing I knew was my brother. She looped my brother into doing this. Yeah, 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 you should try it out. I'm like, what are you guys... She had entered me for Miss Malaysia. <laughs> wow. But... She actually signed the form. So, technically, I'm not legit. <laughs> But you, but you would think, oh, terrible thing to do. You won! <laughs> oh, <yes. laughs> oh, my God! Uh -oh, wow. The thing was, I did it to shut her off. <laughs> 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 because she wouldn't stop about it. So I said, we had a deal. 
if I do this, you are never going to do something like this again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and what age were you when she insisted on coming on a date with you? Oh. <laughs> now you have to remember, they're very, very... Moms are very protective, right? For all the right reasons. So, oh, she always went on a date. <clears throat> oh, always? Oh, always. Until I went to England to study. I don't know why she even let me go to England. So when, when we go on dates, she literally will sit, I'll be here, the guy was here, and, you know, we're 17 or whatever. So one time I was sitting like this and I suddenly realised, why are there two hands on my leg? <laughs> so it was his hand on my mom's hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I know, I was like, he was holding the hand he thought was mine. <laughs> and then I looked at him and go like, excuse me, guys, what's going on? <laughs> Amelia, obviously your, your mother loves you because you're her daughter, <laughs> yeah. but she is actually a sort of a fan as well. No, it's not, it's not quite that. It's, um... Well, uh, no, <laughs> she is. Oh, goodness, right. Yeah. So, my... Uh, uh, one day my mum came to set on the Star Wars set, uh, and I was getting this thing called Cyberscanned, which is where you stand in this kind of... loads of cameras and they kind of take your form and put you into a computer and make a toy or a, some sort of merchandise or your face on a cushion. <laughs> um, and so I go off and do this and I come back and Mum's like, I've made a great friend. And I'm like, brilliant, it's lovely, excellent. And uh, she's like, it's the merchandise, you know, director of all of Star Wars or something. And I'm like, wow, well, that's very impressive. Um, and then before I know it, what comes in the post um, is loads of cushions <laughs> with um, my face on it. <laughs> so my own mum, she gets to see it a fair amount, you know. But apparently it's not enough. So uh, <laughs> I was kind of blown away at how much merchandise there is. Yes, it's but really, also, and it's but not also, even, I mean, it's just the beginning. It was like the pre-merchandise. Not even the real stuff is out yet. And my mum has all of it. And but doesn't know about the doll yet. So we also, this is so up. weird. I don't know. Is this in your flat or her house? Oh, God, no. this room? Oh, right. Okay. So basically, she thought it'd be really funny if I came home and it was everywhere in my. Room. Okay. So this is <laughs> oh, no. this is this is Amelia's actual bedroom. Well. The... <laughs> <laughs>